Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Larissa. So I recently posted a tutorial on how to attach a pop socket to beadwork. And if you are interested in learning how to do that, then check that video out. I'll post it somewhere up here. Um, but today what I'm going to be talking about is how to do edging. And the specific edging that I'm doing is basically like, it's similar to wrapped edging, but it's even simpler than that. So this is the edging that I will be showing you how to do. It's very simple. That's how it looks when it's all done. But yeah, if you are interested in learning how to edge your earrings with this style, then just keep on watching. As I already mentioned, this is a tutorial on how to do wrapped edging. This is not regular wrapped edging. Regular wrapped edging is closer together. There's more space left out on the stabilizer. But this is a wrapped type style edging. It's really easy. It looks really nice. You can do it on earrings, medallions, and then in this case, I'm doing it on a pop socket. And basically, what I'm going to do is put my needle through the top. I already put a little knot at the bottom of my thread. And I'm just going to cut a little bit off that extra thread that you see there. I will burn it off towards the end. But now I'm going to place four beads on my needle. And before I poke my needle through, I'm going to pull my bead to the way at the end of the thread. And then I'm going to hold my beads up where I would normally put my needle through. And that's just to see if I have enough beads on there. And that is totally enough. So now I'm going to poke it through. There's a little tiny space in between each rhinestone. So I'm placing my needle through that little space. Now I'm going to pick up my next color, which is orange. And I'm just doing a color pattern. You can just do like solid colors or, you know, whatever pattern you want. I'm just going to go with like a color pattern for mine. And you pretty much do the same thing. You put it through the top in that small little space, pull it through the back, and then you just pick up four more beads. And then again, I am putting it through the next little space in between the next rhinestones. And I'm doing that for each color. Now I'm gonna pick up my purple And then I'm going to pick up my blue. And that is pretty much all you do throughout the entire process. I am going to show my process, but it's going to be sped up and there's going to be music in the background. So if you want to just watch me, you know, edge my pop socket, then you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can fast forward to the end and see how I ended it. <laughs>
I'm a little bit too old for this Like a grown man in children's clothes Long sleeve shirt with the sleeve way above my wrist And my gut hanging out below I was a painter, a saint, and an activist From the comfort of my duvet You know what a feeling to feel even half of it and fall to another place on my way And as I'm passing, the way to crash in Dissipates into a foregone clip so my camera died before I could show you that how I put on the last three rows, but basically I do have one row left and I'm just po poking it through like I normally would. And you have two options for ending it. So you can either poke it directly through the back and you'd have like a small little like knot and then in through the front or the way that I'm going to be doing it is I'm poking it through the the beads and not the the roll that I just did. I'm not doing those greens. I'm going to poke it through the yellow ones. And I'm poking it through all four beads and then I'm going to go through and I want it to go underneath the rhinestone banding and then through that little space. And I'm going to show you here what it looks like. And it, it's kind of tricky to get it through. But I want it to go up and over like that. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is create a knot. And to make this process easier, you can go through the like rhinestone banding again and create your knot. I'm just creating a knot regular. And the way that I do this is I hold it really tight and then I hold the bottom of the knot down as I pull. And this makes sure that the knot is nice and tight. And now I'm gonna cut it and I have two little pieces of thread hanging off and I'm just gonna burn that with a lighter. And you wanna make sure that you're gentle with this cause you wanna burn more thread or you know anything. And that is pretty much how you edge using this style of edging. I hope this was helpful. Please look out for other types of styles of edging. I will be posting those soon. Thank you so much for watching. Ashes, we can imagine the pretty passions of what we gon' do. I too, by the seconds in official conversation, repetition, reputation, left to bite the automation, break it, kick and take the kick and buy a condo, up the cadence. I won't wait around the waiting room to make it, I'ma find my way.